Hi, this is Dr. Vicki. In this short presentation, we're going to dissect the business intelligence solution for wizards. Are you ready? Let's go. If you need anything, please do not hesitate to shoot me a quick email or text call me on my cell. I can be reached at vbillman at fullcell.com or 352-571-0432. Okay, now to set the stage for a data-driven business intelligence solution plan, you must have a strong executive summary, a clearly identified challenge, and a succinct business intelligence solution overview, which must directly address or solve the challenge. Without any of these vital elements, the proposal will not be a success and likely not even be read in its entirely by your audience. So, what exactly is an executive summary? An executive summary is a short document or section of a document produced for business purposes that summarizes a longer report or proposal in such a way that readers can rapidly become acquainted with and hopefully interested in a larger body of material without having to read it all. Please keep in mind, do not spend enormous amounts of time and text on repeating the history of the organization. Why? Your audience likely knows the history better than you already. Keep the summary as it is intended, a summary of what is to follow. Now, let's dissect the executive summary from the WIZIT's Business Intelligence Solution Plan. We're going to compare the requirements for an effective executive summary against this actual executive summary. The first requirement is a challenge. Co-founder and CEO Yair Panay has a background in business intelligence and has developed a tool internally but he isn't getting what he needs to make data-driven decisions. Is that identifying a challenge? It sure is. Let's look at that again. He isn't getting what he needs to make data-driven decisions. Do not be afraid to jump right in with the major issue facing an organization. That is actually what most would prefer you do. Their time is limited and their attention spans may be even shorter. The second requirement is identifying the need and opportunity. Let's see what this one says. As a mobile and Facebook game company, Wizards is focused on their internal data. When they launch a new game, they need to understand the planning patterns, popularity of the game, platform that is getting the most action, time to purchase for a player after they start playing, and what ads are clicked on. Do not hesitate to use the word need. Without a need to solve a problem, a solution proposal is not necessary or well received. What is the opportunity? The opportunity is unveiling a business intelligence solution to meet the need and ultimately solve the challenge. Let's look at the solution. With our solution, 85% of Wizards business decisions will be made from the data coming out of SciSense, which is the overall vendor. Is this a solution to meet the needs and solve the challenge? Yes, it is a brief summary of the solution, which is appropriate for the executive summary and piques the interest of the audience to continue with the proposal. There's a challenge a need and opportunity, and the solution. So, what exactly is the challenge and why is it likely the most important aspect of your business intelligence solution plan? Well, that's easy to understand in its simplest form. Without a problem or challenge, no proposed solution is necessary. 
That bears repeating. Without a problem or challenge identified, no proposed solution is necessary. The entire basis of your data-driven solution plan is to solve a challenge or problem which exists in the organization which cannot be solved with the existing business intelligence platform. No challenge, no proposal. So, what is the overarching challenge identified for WISIT? Let's take a look. WISIT's challenge is to understand everything that is happening with their products, right? So let's look at the components of an effective challenge section. We have to identify a challenge. Wizard's challenge is to understand everything that is happening with their, tar their products. The second component is make sure challenge is mentioned in the first sentence. Do not be afraid to use the word challenge. That lets them know to set up and pay attention. The next component is existing. What is going on with the company's existing business intelligence platform? What is the current status of it? Well, in this particular situation, the current business intelligence isn't integrated into everything they do. Every time they launch a new feature, every product specification, every click, every purchase. Do they identify the existing? Absolutely. That's what's creating the challenge. The next component is a need. Those data points need to be analyzed to make sure their resources are properly utilized and their profit is maximized. Wizits needs to know which marketing efforts are working and which aren't, which games are performing best and which platforms. Deciding on which geographic regions of the globe work better for some games and not others will focus the release and marketing so the right people are targeted. Now the opportunity. Let's look at the opportunity. The opportunity exists to implement a data-driven BI solution to support decision-making in real time. It's a mouthful in that challenge section, but it covers all of the required components. Clearly identified challenge, compared with the existing or current BI platform, why they need it, and the opportunity to solve it. Now let's break down the essential components which exist in the very specific challenge section. Is there a challenge identified? Absolutely. Wizard's challenge is to understand everything that is happening with their products. The word challenge is clearly visible in the first sentence. Is that appropriate? Use the word challenge as soon as it is possible to work it in so as to not lose the interest of the audience. What is the existing situation with Wizard's business intelligence. The current business intelligence isn't integrated into everything they do. Every time they launch a new feature, every product specification, every click, every purchase. The current BI platform is not matching the challenge, is it? So is there a challenge? Yes. How do we know? It's not being met by the current business intelligence platform. Is there a clearly defined need? present? Well, yes, there is. Those data points need to be analyzed to make sure the resources are properly utilized and their profit is maximized. Wizards needs to know which marketing efforts are working and which aren't, which games are performing best and on which platforms. Deciding on which geographic regions of the globe work better for some games and not others will focus the release and marketing so the right people are targeted. Be sure to identify the needs by saying so with the word needs. With the challenge, current BI platform and needs spelled out, does this naturally progress to an opportunity existing to propose a BI solution plan? Let's look. The opportunity exists to implement a data-driven BI solution to support decision-making in real time. 
Look how this challenge section flows like a fine-tuned GPS, guiding the audience from the challenge through the ineffectiveness of the current BI platform, then highlighting the needs for effective BI right into the destination, which is the opportunity which exists to provide the proposed BI solution. I simply can't repeat it often enough. Only after you have identified a challenge, current state, need, and opportunity can you present a solution. Again, only after you have identified a challenge, current state, need, and opportunity can you present a solution. Otherwise, the audience has not vested interest in trying to follow along with a proposal which appears to start and end nowhere. Now that you have the executive summary and clearly defined challenge section, it is time to drop the BI solution overview on the audience. Just enough details are needed to exhibit that you are indeed prepared with a solution which captures the opportunity to meet the needs by adding what the current BI platform does not do to solve the challenge. Wizards will use just a single data source and have an automated daily process to bring the data into Elasticube. Originally, Wizards was trying to aggregate the data but that was slower than they wanted, so with the SciSense tech support, they will change to a full build each time, which will get the performance they were looking for. Yer can now run tests on pop-up ads. For example, if he wants, he can try two segmentations, one offering a $5 pop-up for paying users, and the second offering a $20 pop-up for non-paying. By running historical analysis through SciSense, Yer can then figure out which will perform better, allowing for predictive business decisions. On top of this, if a technical problem occurs with these pop-ups, Yer is able to drill down on those issues to determine what's happening. Every day, Wizards will see comparisons to the day before. Is that a benefit? You bet! Wizards can diversify their games based on different countries with this new solution. If they have a game that is very popular in Australia and are getting ready to replace it with a different game, they will use SciSense to determine what games have been working in that country based on all of the daily activity data they have stored. Wizards can't quickly get to that information right now in their current platform. The granular visibility on game deployment and ad effectiveness will continue to contribute to a positive growth of the bottom line. Does this overview hit on all the points? Absolutely. Look how Elasticube uses a single data source where the existing BI platform must aggregate data in a time-eating process. The benefit is Yer can now run tests on pop-up ads. For example, if he wants, he can try the two segmentations, one offering a $5 pop-up for paying users while the other is a $20 pop-up for non-paying. By using SciSense, he can run historical analysis. He can then figure out which will perform better, allowing for predictive business decisions, which is always better than reactive. On top of this, if a technical problem occurs, Yer is able to drill down on those issues to determine what's happening. The benefit? Every day, Wizards will see comparisons to the day before. Another benefit, Wizards can diversify their games based on different countries. If they have a game that is very popular in Australia and are getting ready to replace it, they will use the SciSense platform to determine what games have been working in that country based on all the daily activity data they have stored. Why is that important? Because Wizards can't quickly get to that information right now. What is the overall goal and benefit to Wizards for your solution plan? Growth. The granular visibility on game deployment and effectiveness will continue to contribute a positive growth of the bottom line. That is the overview. Does that provide a solution? You bet it does. So, 
Now, as you see, the proper ingredients do matter. The executive summary, challenge, and solutions must overlap for a successful data-driven BI solution plan to be proposed. With the proper overlap, you can hit a bullseye with your proposal. Thank you for your time and attention. I really hope this analysis of WISIT's Business Intelligence Solution was helpful in your journey to developing a portfolio-ready capstone project with your data-driven BI solution plan. As always, please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.